a lot of people don't want a woman with a penis or a man with a with a vagina guys what's up welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time watching me hi I'm Gigi so in today's video I'm gonna be debunking and talking about a topic that I've been seeing a lot of people talk about recently which is is it considered transphobic if a person doesn't want to date a transgender person and um, I've had my fair share of dating experiences with men and a couple with women and I always disclose the fact that I'm transgender before actually meeting anyone because, you know, just for my safety and just to be on the same page with the other person I'm talking to. I actually once forgot to disclose the fact that I'm trans to a guy I was seeing, which I have a story time about here on my channel. But um, this was a messy situation and this is a whole other conversation for a later video. Today we're talking about is it transphobic not wanting to date a transgender person? And um, let's be real, we all have dating preferences. Each of us is always looking for a different type of partner and us having those um, dating preferences doesn't mean we hate people that don't match those preferences. For example, I like, when it comes to guys, I like a tall guy, I like a bigger guy, I like an older guy. That doesn't mean that I hate short guys or that, or that doesn't mean that I hate younger guys or guys my age I'm always you know I have something I know what I like and I know what I'm attracted to and um, I never and I have a certain standard that I don't want us to below you know what I mean so same thing kind of goes for transgender people a lot of people have genital preferences a lot of people have physical preferences and a lot of people don't just date to date some people look for something more long-term and something more serious like marriage or be able to bear biological children which is something that you cannot do when you're a trans person and I think that's honestly the main reason for um, people not wanting to be dating a transgender person whether it is a man or a woman hey guys don't mind the nails and don't mind me I know I look a mess but while editing this video I realized that there was something that I forgot to mention uh, something really important that I forgot to mention which is that there are a lot of cisgender people out there that cannot bear or conceive biological children of their own and they are infertile and um, that's a very normal thing to happen and that's a very normal case and I respect that but you cannot really have that argument with trans people because um, it's different and I don't want to go deep into the subject just because I don't know much about it and I don't know what to say really but I just forgot to mention that in the video and I had to mention it here so back to the video and of course genital preference is very valid because a lot of people don't want a woman with a penis or a man with a, with a vagina if they are pre-pop so it is totally valid to have genital preference and we shouldn't shame people for having that and let's be real, dating a transgender person is not an easy thing to do. Not everyone can handle a trans person's baggage and um, a lot of people find it intimidating. And it's just, it's just a hard thing to do. Not everyone can handle the pressure um, or is equipped to handle the pressure of dating a trans person. Wherever you are in the world, it is hard. A lot of people are able and are equipped to be able to be with a trans person, but a lot of people are not, and that doesn't make them transphobic or that doesn't make them hateful. Now, there are people that actually hate trans people and actually don't want to date them, and those people are transphobic, and um, there's a lot of them out there, but if a person like politely tells you, if you're a trans person out there, and you know you're on a dating website let's say and you tell a person you tell a guy you're talking to that you're trans and they politely say um i'm sorry but this is not really what i'm looking for um i wish you the best you're beautiful whatever if they say it politely i don't think it's transphobic i just think they're you know they they're not interested in that or they're not um as i said ready or equipped for to date you as a person. I've had a lot of instances on dating apps where I would tell someone I'm trans because not a lot of people read the bio. I always have, you know, I always disclose the fact that I'm trans in my bio, but not, not everyone reads it. Um, so when I would tell them, some people would pop off and some people would like either block me or get mad about it or tell me why or start misgendering me or whatever. And I think those people are transphobic, but if a person, as I said, is very polite about it, is very like, 
you know, I'm sorry, this is not really what I'm looking for. I don't think I can be with a trans person. You're beautiful or whatever it is, but I don't think I can be with you and I wish you the best. That person is not transphobic. That person is just not interested in the fact that I am a trans person. And there are so many people out there for all of us. There are 7 billion people, almost 8 billion people on this earth. So there's a lot of, you know, there's plenty of fish in the sea. I am sorry you have to see my ugly face again, but um, I want to say that you shouldn't be mad if someone doesn't want to date you because you're trans. Um, I mean, as I said, there are plenty of fish in the sea. There are a lot of people out there for all of us. And um, you will find someone that's going to want to date you because of you and that's going to accept you or um, want you for who you are. And um, someone not wanting to be with you doesn't make you any less or more of a human being it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't really affect anything and there is something that really irks me um especially with the lgbt within the lgbt community um we always you know preach about people how you know like attraction not being a choice and um people being attracted to who they are attracted to but when it comes to trans people i don't know why um Whenever someone says, I don't want to date a trans person because I just don't find myself attracted to that person, to trans people in general, we kind of like, you know, bash them. I mean, every person out there is attracted to whoever or whatever they are attracted to and they shouldn't be belittled or hated on or shamed for that unless they are actually being misogynistic or hateful towards a certain group, group of people, then them yeah you, you can you can you know shame them and belittle them but if they're not doing that if they're just being honest about their feelings and about their attraction then you know it's it's totally normal so uh, back to the video again so in conclusion is a transphobic not wanting to date a transgender person i don't think so i think it depends on the situation i think it depends on how the other person reacts or um, handles the situation and I don't think we should punish anyone for who they want to be with and who they don't want to be with so um, that's that's everything I have for you guys in this video I hope you enjoyed it and before I leave don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn the post notifications on to get notified for every new upload and don't forget to check out the TLS channel which is a channel I have in collaboration with my best friend Sasha I'm gonna link it somewhere here. I still don't know where the, the thing pops up, but hey. And also don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and follow me on all my social media platforms. I'm only on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitter, and they're all glammed by Gigi. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Bye.